Vice President, um, I just enjoyed so much your whole speech, but I was particularly pleased that you gave such a strong endorsement for the free trade agreement for all the Americans, subject that has been of great concern to me for many years, and particularly recently, and I think it's absolutely essential for the strength of our economy. This is Howard Nima with We Are Change. Uh, basically, we're going to be talking about truth. This is where news, the mainstream media ignores, is the top story. We must be the change we wish to see in the world. Anyway, basically truth is uh, the kind of a thing that everybody should seek. If you live your life in a vacuum, believing what you're told, how is, uh, how is there ever going to be any judgment and society uh, is going to sort of mandate, you know, the parameters or give you like narrow guidelines to live by in a society that's slowly closing in where the individual has no rights. So I invite you to uh, explore some of the things I'm going to talk about, uh, not believe me so much as uh, I challenge you to uh, seek the same truth and uh, if you feel you need to dispute the truth uh, by all means give it your best shot so anyhow uh, without too much uh, fanfare or, or anything else uh, I've started doing this because I awoke to the realization that everything uh, my entire belief system was uh, was not uh, what it appeared to be and that the matrix uh, that we live in has become uh, uh, you know something where truth is is ignored if they tell you it's true believe it you know if they tell you that uh, al-qaeda and Osama bin Laden, you know, blew up uh, the Pentagon, and uh, you know, and Anwar al Awlaki, you know, they killed him, and they tell you what they tell you, and they buried Osama, you know, in the sea, and if you're to believe all of these things, um, without any critical analysis and history of what's going on, uh, it, it's just unbelievable. So what I'm doing is trying to awaken the people who are who are not awake. I mean, a lot of people are going to be listening, hopefully, uh, are listening now that uh, are awake and have uh, some knowledge about what's going on. But I'm really targeting this information to people that are skeptics. Because um, I, I wouldn't spend the time that I've spent and the research that I've done if I didn't believe that it's absolutely true all the things that we I'm going to talk about. I mean, we could talk about you know, I don't even know where to start sometimes, but literally it is, as I've said many times, a bottomless pit of evil. The New World Order, um, where, where, we, where we begin, is hundreds of years ago, actually. Um, it is basically a collectivist uh, oligarchy with the ruling class families at the top controlling basically everything at this point they're closing in even even faster. So who are they? Well, they're the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. What do they do? Well, they control and own the major corporations and media markets, um, as well as, of course, banking. I mean, it goes, it's, it's just, it's, it is a very big uh, pill to swallow. And uh, I remember a quote once where, how do you eat an elephant? And you take it one bite at a time. So what I'm going to attempt to do from now on is one little bite at a time address certain issues. Um, I have many at hand. Uh, the news always comes to mind. 
the news is always interesting, things that are happening, you know. Um, since we have, for example, things that they don't tell you, what we're covering here is what the mainstream media ignores to tell you. So what they're not going to really tell you uh, is how much oil, they're not going to, they might report it once or twice, but they're not going to tell you that we have three to four billion barrels of technically recoverable oil, and the Rockefeller-controlled um, environmental movement, uh, who, you see, this is very interesting. They use, the, the New World Order elitists use uh, opposition. They control opposition in many cases. So there are a lot of infiltrators in the truth movement and that Chris has been fighting for years and uh, they really, it's just unbelievable. And uh, I've come across it myself in the short journey I've had for truth so far. Uh, but it's an endless, um, you know, infiltration of things they wish to control. Gibson guitars being raided. A million dollars worth of uh, wood that was uh, from India, confiscated. Just took it. Um, <laughs> that's it. The reason they took it? Well, under Agenda 21 through the United Nations, <sighs> India had a law that was uh, being enforced here in America. So under this globalism, a law that's in another country can affect you here. And if you don't think it will, it just did. But that's a conspiracy theory. They didn't come in and take the wood from Gibson. Oh no? Well, Google it. They sure did. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. And let's talk about India, since we're talking about India. So their law states that the wood that they take, the ebony wood, would not be illegal if they rendered and did the work there. So the government told the president of Gibson Guitars <laughs> that we should move, Gibson, should move, should move uh, their operations to Madagascar where the laws uh, would be in their favor and that's basically what they told Gibson. You know, move your jobs out of the country. Federal government, our federal government, who took the million dollars worth of wood. This is awfully sounding like Hitler's uh, rise to power now, doesn't it? I mean, this is how it starts. Now, instead of targeting just, you know, one class of people like Hitler, no, no, he's, they're targeting everyone. You are now an environmental criminal. Uh, and if these laws continue, Agenda 21 will destroy this country. Monsanto, controlling the food supply. I mean, I'm not even going to touch on banking. But we could talk for a long, long time. Uh, the truth of the matter is that this order uh, has been uh, put in place to enslave humanity and bring us back to a feudal society. In a nutshell. If I was going to just say, what was I going to be talking about, you know, in, in one sentence, what's the new world order? <clears throat> it is an attempt to control the world through a feudal system, a lord, basically, serf system. Um, that is why they are, you know, land is, 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 you know, people don't own land. Only a hundred years ago or less, property taxes didn't exist. I mean, but when you're bred into a society... You think that property taxes have always been there because dad paid property taxes and his dad paid property taxes. So that's, that must be illegal. And every year they go up and everyone bitches and complains about their property taxes. But look up the truth. Look up the, look, look up the history. Really do some work. And you will find that property taxes were enough fraud to just, again, pilfer and raise revenue that goes really mostly to the top. In other words, America is a Ponzi scheme, and now we can talk about the banks. Now they're going to quantitative easing three, destroying the dollar. Uh, a lot of things are going on that are related to these criminals who are known as the New World Order elite. Um, if anybody has any information that they would like to uh, add to or talk about, 
You can call in at 772-905-3018. I'll take any subject that question or question that you'd like. Um, I was going to, again, go over some things, some news here uh, that I currently talked about. As, as again, I've had oil. You know, you have the environmental movement controlled by the Rockefellers who started the environmental movement, started Planned Parenthood, started uh, the Women's Lib movement, all of these movements to, again, gain control of, uh, of society in general. And the research can go deep. Uh, if you just uh, start working on the Rockefellers alone, you will find that they are uh, entrenched in almost every aspect of society. Uh, they have interests, uh, they, they, they are moving the, the world to the world government, that is their goal. That has always been their goal, to put in the new world order, to deindustrialize America. David Rockefeller is a traitor to the United States, yet he is uh, heralded and praised by the controlled media. I mean, th these people are criminals that have absolutely taken our country by storm. And uh, it's historically proven. So all of a sudden, the robber barons who were hated and people, I mean, death threats and everything else against the Rockefeller family, they became the philanthropists. Yes, and they created the trusts. And they created the, uh, excuse me, they created the Federal Reserve after uh, Roosevelt broke, broke the trusts. So they didn't care about paying all the taxes. They didn't care about being their monopolies being broken up because they were going to get their tax-free foundations and that's what they did they set this whole system up to fleece the american people at first it was only a meager one percent tax now i don't know if anybody that's paying one percent where do you think this money's going who do you think controls the welfare system in america you guessed it the rockefeller family through chase jp morgan chase now, J.P. Morgan, everyone thinks he's such a big, famous guy, but he was really basically, uh, again, a, a puppet. He wasn't real. He, uh, he was a, a Rothschild-backed uh, uh, silent partner. I mean, Rothschilds were the silent... They were the silent partners in, in, in the world. Um, certainly, uh, things like this are never uh, discussed. They never make the news. But when you start reading and researching and seeing the information that you can obtain... Uh, through through corp, uh, corporate records and white papers and Club of Rome for depopulation. I mean, I don't even know. I don't want to get too far into this today. But uh, certainly we could touch on all of these subjects because you could start at the United Nations to see what is happening to America today. We went from the most prosperous country in the world uh, after World War II to now... Um, teetering on the edge of financial collapse like everyone else. Yes, of course, we're still the most powerful nation on earth, but what does that matter compared against other nations that are just suffering worse than we are? Uh, is that really prosperity? No, of course not. But they're going to continue destroying the, the, the economy uh, by putting these Ponzi schemes into place. You know, they, they never come down to, their, to the reality that they're trying to sign nations off to debt that we don't owe. Fraudulent debt that was uh, basically created. You can blame Bill Clinton for, for, for most of this as far as getting rid of Glass-Steagall, which allowed the banks to sell all of these fraudulent securities that they knew were going to lose. I mean, they're getting slapped on the wrist. you got companies like, banks like Wells Fargo and Wachovia laundering $379 billion of drug money and getting a slap on the wrist, they, you know, they report it, they find them, and business as usual. While the CIA brings in all of the cocaine and, and heroin uh, into this nation, the cocaine from the, from the southern hemisphere and the, and the heroin from, from Afghanistan. 